Welcome to the hero of Waterloo Hotel. Built in 1835, this is the oldest hotel in New South Wales and has a unique connection to Australia's colonial heritage. Patton was his name, decided to build a hotel here and then he named it the Hero of Waterloo in the celebration really of uh, the Battle of Waterloo and the success of the Duke of Wellington who won the battle and uh, defeated Napoleon. Europe changed so much with that one battle. Tonight, history comes to life as Kazuko and her team bring back our hero, the Duke of Wellington. I'm the victor tonight. And his nemesis, Napoleon Bonaparte. Bonsoir, madame. As we commemorate the 200th anniversary of the Battle of Waterloo with some modern day help from our sponsors and performers. I just want to get everybody together to remain in rehearsal the truth of the history of 200 years ago. Initially, my army was succeeding, but I was unfortunately deserted by my marshals and my brothers, and we weren't able to succeed against the English and the Prussians, who outnumbered us two to one. We had to crush Napoleon, we had to beat him and throw him out of Europe, and we did. Amongst the guests is the New South Wales Governor, and who better greeting him than the Commanders themselves. Welcome to the Hero of Waterloo in this uh, historic hotel. There's clearly uh, no more uh, appropriate venue uh, to celebrate tonight. Let's uh, think of uh, Waterloo today, historically significant. So significant that in this colony, in its very early days, this institution, this pope, this hotel uh, was created, named after Wellington, and his memory lingers on. To say someone has met their Waterloo still resonates 200 years later. So such a significant part of our history is it, and particularly for Europe and the British colonies. So the hero of Waterloo. We're really proud to uh, support the festivities tonight by supplying beer, in particular James Squire, and we're just really proud to be part of a historic event like this. I'm um, going not too bad, mate. It's been quite a battle today, but um, you know, recovered. All I got is this slight injury right here, but it's not too bad. So having a few beers tonight, it's going to be all good. With all the festivities happening, the commemoration isn't complete without the appearance of one of the early proprietors. chairs around the fireplace and we would sip on the finest our cellar had to offer. Oh, it was lovely. Lovely, that is, until that black-hearted Irish rebel I married took a liking to the new beer wench. When I saw her belly swelling, I thought to myself, I feel there is trouble a Bruin. So I said to Thomas, I am not leaving. The hero of Waterloo is my home. It is my establishment. So he grabbed me and he pushed me. He pushed me down the cellar stairs to my death. Broke my neck I did. 
dead I was, dead, but not departed, nor will I ever be, for the hero of Waterloo is my home. Tonight is excellent, yeah. She's, Kazuko's put on an amazing uh, amazing spread and it's a great evening, a lot of people here, so she's pulled a good crowd. To have a hotel here that's been running for that long, continuously, I think it makes us the oldest, it makes it the oldest, oldest hotel in Sydney. And, you know, so that's in itself, uh, capturing history, but still being part and parcel of the fabric of the city, uh, just shows how flexible they are here. So if you're visiting Sydney, be sure to stop by at the Hero of Waterloo Hotel for a taste of history, fine food and wine, and Australian hospitality. Cheers for England and Duke Wellington and the Hero of Waterloo.